Hello. I want us to make lunch together and talk about Jesus, okay? Let's make lunch together and let's talk about Jesus, okay? Let's talk about Jesus as we make lunch together. We're going to be making something that will be a little bit mushy mushy, so let's protect ourselves. <laughs> I pray you had a great night. I pray that um, you woke up this morning with joy in your heart, knowing that this is the day that the Lord has made, and you will rejoice in this day and be glad. Let's get to it right away. So today, I'm going to be making pizza, and... We'll be talking about Jesus, just like I said. So I bought this dough from BJ's. Already made the pizza crust. Already made. I got it from BJ's. Um, so, well, that's what we'll be using. So this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Okay. Let's start. So, what are we going to talk about? I want us to finish our lesson that we were doing, uh, where we were talking about, uh, it was in Psalm 1, right? And we talk about, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scuffle, we said, but his delight is in the law of the law. And we said that in his law does he meditate day and night. Okay, and we said that a person like that will be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bringeth forth his fruit in his own season. Okay, we said a person who will meditate in God's word will bring forth their fruit in their own season. That was what we said. Okay, we said that the leaves of that bread, of that tree, the tree that is planted by rivers of water, the leaf never withers. Okay? And everything that the person do will prosper. The leaf will not wither. Everything they do will prosper. We did all that last. We talked about prosperity. And last week I said that to prosper... Let me bring this closer. Last week I said that for someone to, I said that prosperity, you have the worldly kind of prosperity where people, all they want to do is they don't care how they make the wealth. They don't care uh, anything. They just want to be wealthy. They will do anything to be wealthy, you know, to have money, to have money. And even if it means selling their soul, they will do that just to get what they want. And I said that such, I, I don't believe that a person who have worldly gain is prosperous. I said worldly gain for me is not prosperity because I believe that a person, for you to prosper, your soul also needs to prosper. I believe that real prosperity starts from within. As your soul prosper, as he prosper from within, I believe that that prosperity will begin to show on the outside. So I believe that it's something that starts from within, you know. You start to prosper from within. You have Jesus in you. You are reading the word. You are filling yourself with the things of God. You know, you are learning more about God. You are living in such a way to, you know, to impart other people's life. You are loving people. You are sharing with people. You are giving. You are doing everything you can do. You are sharing the gospel, doing everything. Prosperity starts from inside. Say so your soul has to prosper. You know, as your soul prosper, as you prosper spiritually, then it starts to show outward. That's what I was saying. I said that. Just having money and buying cars and building houses, I call that worldly gain. That is not prosperity. Because when you prosper, it means that even after you leave this world, your prosperity, if you're a true person that prosper, after you die and leave this world, you're still supposed to continue to prosper 
to wherever we are going because as we all know that life is eternal we all will have eternal life you will not just live and die and be forgotten we all know that eternal life is real everyone will have eternal life but where you spend eternity is another thing all together okay so as for eternity everybody will have eternal life but some people will spend eternity in the place of the the fathers of lie which is the devil the devil is the father of lie the place that will prepare for him because hell was not prepared for any human being hell, god did not jesus did not prepare hell god did not prepare hell for any human being hell was made for the devil and the demons the people that rebel in, in in heaven hell was made for the people that were cast down the demons and the evil people that were cast down hell was made for them so if you prosper uh, um you're supposed to prosper in such a way that even after you leave this earth your prosperity will follow you because of how you live the things you do you know you got to know give your life to christ you live a life that you know uh, uh, um, you can be proud of you know you live such a life that you can be proud of you live a life that people you was a blessing to people you know you live your life with the fear of god and so even after you die you will still live and you will live good because as we know the story of lazarus we see that uh the story of of, of not even like yeah and uh, 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 yes lazarus when he was um when he when he when when he I'm coming. Let me finish this thing. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, when he was in the bosom of Abraham, remember? And the rich man saw him in the bosom of Abraham. And the rich man told uh, 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 Abraham, said, Please, can you ask him to dip his hands in some water? And just drop it on my tongue, you know. And then Abraham told him, No, he can't drop anything on your tongue because where he is now is a big separation between us on this side and you guys over there. Nothing from in heaven, nothing from this part can go down there in hell. So we see that um, hell is real. There's a place prepared for after this life. Nobody will live forever. And according to how you live, what you decide to do, you know, how you live your life, what you decide to do, that is how you will spend your, 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 uh, uh, um, your eternity. So you can't say that you have prospered on earth. You have made so much money. You have bought all the nice cars. You have built the big houses and everything. Have all the women around, have all the boys around, wore all the best clothes you can find to wear. And then after you die, then you go and suffer with the demons and the devil in hell. You don't want that. You want, if you prosper, you want to prosper the right way. You want to prosper in the way. Well, even you prosper here on earth, your soul prosper. And then you go to heaven and continue to walk on streets of gold and live the kind of life that God intends for you to live forever with him. So, my people, that's my argument, okay? That's a difference between world again worldly gain there's a difference between worldly gains and prosperity you can have worldly gain but that don't mean that you prosper worldly gain is not prosperity okay a person who prosper will live here on earth in prosperity and will die and live forever with jesus that's true prosperity so you have worldly gain. Okay, what will it profit a man to gain the world? Worldly gain, to gain the world. What will it profit a man to gain the world and lose his own soul in hell? 
So you have worldly gain. Do you want worldly gain? Do you want to sell your soul for money? Do you want to sell your soul for riches, for enjoyment? Is that what you want? You have worldly gain. Worldly gain is not prosperity. Worldly gain is not prosperity. I don't know how much to sound this, but worldly gain is not prosperity. Worldly gain is not prosperity. You have worldly gain and you have true prosperity, which comes from God. It is God that teaches us how to prosper. It is God that makes us prosper. So that's life for you. You can prosper in God. You can prosper the right way by meditating in God's word. I'm just trying to finish up on the psalm. We started on Psalm 1. We started that at the beginning of the year. I said that when we started this lesson, I said that at the beginning of the year, everybody, you hear them say, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. And I said, for someone to have a Happy New Year, they have to be free from sickness. They got to be free from diseases. They got to be free from troubles. You know, those things that just come upon you without you planning for it. Those troubles and things that just come upon people you have to be free from all those things for your new year to be happy you gotta which means you gotta prosper in the new year to have a happy new year and then we talk about prosperity we said i said that people feel some people think that buying cars building houses and doing anything to have it just to have you know a lot of material things they think that that is prosperity that's not prosperity as i said today i'm going to define it for you prosperity is when you live in such a way to glorify god and you do the will of god the purpose of God, the reason for which you were created, because we're all created by God. We're all placed on this earth for a purpose. We're placed here to do something for God. We're placed here to live in a certain way, you know, to be in a certain way. We're all placed here for a purpose. So if you can find your purpose and you can fulfill that purpose in God, you can stay close to God for you to fulfill that purpose. You have to be connected to the vine. You have to you have to be connected to the vine. You have to be connected to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit for you to be able to bear your fruit, for you to be able to prosper. It is God that will help you to prosper. And I said that for you to have a prosperous new year, a happy new year, you have to stay in God, okay? Prosperity is different from worldly gain. I love a lot of vegetables, okay? Prosperity is different from worldly gain. Prosperity is so different from worldly gain. Prosperity is different from worldly gain, okay? So for you to prosper, my dear friends, for you to prosper, you have to. You have to stay in God. You have to be connected to the vine. You can't bear fruit without being close to God. You can't prosper in life without God. You can have worldly gain. You can have worldly gain. You can get all the followers. Okay? You can get all the 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 the, the, the people to know you you can have a lot of people know you. you can know a lot of people you can have all beautiful clothes you can have a beautiful home you know you can have all those things but if you don't have it in god if god was not a part of it you know if you got it all by yourself and god was not a part guess what it's for nothing it is for nothing okay so I pray that this lesson will bless you. Or the olive, this olive don't have seed. This black olive I'm using, it don't have seed. For me, I love a lot of vegetables and stuff. When I fix my pizza, it have to be rich enough so that when I eat it, it's a whole meal by itself. <laughs> so that's just me. So that is it. 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 Okay, now let's put my favorite cheese on it. Let's put my favorite cheese over it again. Ooh, I can imagine how nice it will be. So, my dear people, let's not mistake 
world again for prosperity. Let's stay close to God. Let's stay connected to God. We will be connected to our Heavenly Father. We will be connected to Jesus so that we can bear our fruits in our season, so that we can prosper, so that our leaves will not wither. We will stay connected to our God and we will prosper the way God wants us to prosper. Now I'm going to put this in the oven. And then... Alexa, alarm within seven minutes. In seven minutes will be 11 or 4 a.m. Alarm in seven minutes, Alexa. Alexa, alarm in seven minutes. Seven minutes, starting now. Thank you. So... Let me see how long I wonder if we'll be able to wait. Anyway, we might not be able to wait for this one. But I have another one that I made special for my mom that I'm going to take to her. And we'll see how this one came out. This is different from the one I made. This one is already done. This I added. Um, I, I put the pepperoni. I used pepperoni. I used the cheese. I used the... Uh, uh, um, I also added some turkey bacon to this one. This one has turkey bacon. Uh, and then it also has mushroom, green peppers, onions, a lot of onions. Everything but it have is different from the one I just put in. But I wish this could finish on time enough for us to be able to see what it would look like. But I don't think we can because now the video is already 16 minutes long. So... We will stop right here for now. So I pray that God will help us, okay? I pray that God Almighty. And not forgetting, I made some chicken. I made some chicken. So let me just fix a plate. And then we'll see what it looked like. I made some chicken. Because what is pizza without chicken? Tell me. What is pizza without chicken? And I made my chicken in the air fryer, okay? I did my chicken in the air fryer because as I said, I try to keep away from a lot of oil. So I did my chicken in the air fryer. So this chicken look just like um, fried chicken, but it's not fried. It was made in the air fryer. So this is the pizza I made for my mommy. I'm taking it to her for her to have it for lunch and then the one in the oven that I put in there is mine with the olive and everything. And I made this chicken this morning. I put this chicken in the air fryer, seasoning and put it in the air fryer. So, I thank you for your time. I thank you for sitting with me. This is just chicken I made with seasoning and put in the air fryer. And this is pizza. This is not the one I just made. This I made it first before I made this a different recipe. And there's a different one in there. So I pray that God will help us to be patient, okay? Let's be patient as people of God, as children of God. Let's be patient and let's wait for God's time. And I believe that God will bless us in his time. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this time. I pray, oh God, that God, you will help your people. You will help us, oh God, as a people to be wise during this end time. Give us wisdom for the end time, Father. We pray, oh God, we refuse to be among the elect that will be deceived oh god every spirit of deception father we come against in the name of jesus father i pray that god we will hold on to you we'll stay connected to the true vine we'll stay connected to christ and that god in your own time you will prosper us the way you want us to be prosperous father we thank you we give you glory even in jesus name i pray amen and amen. Please have a very blessed day. Love you. And God bless. God bless. Beautiful pizza. And some fried chicken. Please stay blessed.